Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to be looking at the solution to the physics one Doppler effect due right now, number one. Let's take a look at the problem. An ambulance is moving east at a speed of 26 meters per second while its siren emits at a frequency of 1500 hertz. What is the apparent frequency of the siren to A, a stationary observer as the ambulance approaches? And we can assume that the air temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. So we are given the velocity of the source of our sound wave, the ambulance, is 26 meters per second. And because the ambulance is moving toward a stationary observer, see to a stationary observer, the velocity of my source is going to be positive 26 meters per second. The frequency emitted by the source is 1500 hertz. And I'm given an air temperature in this problem of 15 degrees Celsius. So I know that I need to calculate the speed of the sound wave at that temperature. And before I can calculate the speed of the sound wave, I need to convert my temperature from Celsius to Kelvin. So I have to add 273 to my Celsius temperature. 15 plus 273 is going to give me a temperature of 288 Kelvin. I can then plug that temperature into my speed of sound in air formula. And when I plug 288 Kelvin into that formula, I'm going to get a velocity of the sound wave of 340 meters per second. I am looking for um, the observed frequency for a stationary observer. So I know that the velocity of the observer is zero because they are stationary. So now I can plug all of that information into my Doppler equation. I have the frequency of the source, 1500 hertz. I have the velocity of the sound wave in air at 15 degrees Celsius is 340 meters per second. The velocity of my observer is zero because they are stationary. And the velocity of the source of my sound wave, the ambulance, is going to be 26 meters per Per second. And when I do that math out, I am going to get an observed frequency of 1624 hertz, which really should be 1600 hertz to, significant to two significant figures. I just was too lazy to do that. And I ran out of room at the bottom of the page down there. So, sorry. Part B is asking, what is the apparent frequency of the siren to the same stationary observer after the ambulance has passed? So now the observer is still stationary, so their velocity is going to remain zero. The ambulance is still moving at 26 meters per second, but now that it has passed the observer, it's going to be moving away from the observer. So because it's moving away, its velocity now becomes negative 26 meters per second. I know that the frequency of the siren hasn't changed and the temperature hasn't changed. It's still 15 degrees Celsius. So I know the sound wave is still going to travel at 340 meters per second. When I plug all of this into my Doppler equation, I know that, again, the, velocity, um, the uh, frequency of the siren hasn't changed at 1500 hertz. The sound wave is still moving at 340 meters per second. My observer is still stationary, so their, their velocity is zero. And the ambulance is moving at 26 meters per second away from the observer, so their velocity is negative. And when I do out that math, I'm going to have an observed wavelength of 1,393 hertz. And again, I know that's not too, too significant figures. I should have done that, but I didn't. You guys aren't the only ones with senioritis right now. And finally, part C asks, what is the apparent frequency of the siren to a motorcycle rider approaching the ambulance while traveling west at 18 meters per second? So my ambulance is moving east. 
the motorcycle is moving west. So the ambulance is going this way. The motorcycle is going that way. They are both approaching one another. So both the source, the ambulance, and the motorcycle rider are going to have velocity, po uh, positive velocities. Nothing else has changed. The frequency of the source is still 1500 hertz. The air temperature is still 15 degrees. So the velocity of the sound wave is still 340 meters per second. The velocity of my source is positive 26 meters per second. And the velocity of my observer is now positive 18 meters per second. And when I plug all of those things into my Doppler equation, again, the frequency of the source 1500 hertz the velocity of the sound wave 340 meters per second, the velocity of the observer positive 18 meters per second, and the velocity of the, so uh, the source of the sound wave at positive 26 meters per second is going to give me an observed wavelength by the motorcycle rider of 1710 hertz.